going to be talking about armor. And how are we going to be talking about Well, we're going to explain exactly how it works in preventing damage and why you get more bang from your butt from your cloth armor versus your flak armor. Now, to counter that real quick, that does not mean to say that your cloth armor gives you much more... Oops. Much more protection than your... Okay, right now we're already getting some results here. Uh, this is not the idea. Let's go through the door. Alright, so basically this is what you know. This does not mean that the black armor is worse than your cloth armor. What this means is how much conversion you're basically getting for your armor. So we are going to go inside right now naked and see about how much damage we get. We are infinite statted right now, so you can see exactly what we're seeing. And the Dillo is actually 135% damage. I knocked it out earlier, otherwise it was just an infinite run stat. So you can see we're taking about 13 points of damage with our armor on. Now, what we can do is we're going to go outside. And actually, I'm going to do this as well. I'm going to slip on just one piece of gear. You can automatically see we, with just 10 armor, we're taking one point less damage. So let's get back to the door, close the door so it can't get out. Now let's put on the full set. See, let's see how far the conversion goes. Alright, so with the full set of armor, we are only losing nine points of damage. Today. That's really not that good. You're seeing four points of damage. We might have actually needed something a little bigger to test this and give a better example. But you can see we reduced the damage by four points. So next on the list after we get out of this green goop. Alright guys, so we did see four points of damage reduction. But if you noticed already, the first piece of clothing did one point of damage reduction. And after putting on the other, three, other four pieces, we only actually reduced it by another three. And basically that's giving us our already what, what, what I was trying to get at. And that is the more armor you have, the less bang for your buck you're getting. We're going to go ahead and step it up to the next set of armor here. Now remember, we were at last set 9 points of armor. So we are going to put on a full set of high. This armor is going to, should protect us a lot better. Let's see if it does. Hello there Mr. Dillo, or Mrs. Dillo. Okay, you're seeing right now six points of damage. Yep. Getting a cause of six. I'm gonna let it squirt us once just to make sure. Alright, we've got squirted for now only one point. Man, if you kill a Therizina, I don't know. Knows it too much around in our area. So what you can see now is we've reduced it by another three points by putting on a new full set of armor. We've gone up as much as 40 points, uh, another, we have doubled our armor but only dropped it another three points. We dropped it four points with 50 points of armor and then we did it again. Oh my god, did I really do that? I'll be right back. Alright guys, so you can see we reduced it only by three points by applying double the armor. We're talking 50 points of armor versus 10. Now, that's not really a lot. I mean, the first set reduced by 4 points. This set reduced by 3 points. Let's see how much Titan armor will do for us. Dillo should do, and now this is 50 points of armor, uh, a 30 increase, so 150 points increase on the last one, but 150 points of armor, and that would be, not 150, uh, 250, which would be about 200 points more armor over the last set of armor. Let's see what it does. Three points of damage. That's not a bad conversion, right? It sounds like it, and look at that, his spit's almost doing nothing. We are basically invulnerable, and as long as we keep getting bit, 
three points of damage. How long is that? Oh wow, the still is not doing anything. Now you'll notice it's not the armor that's protecting me. If I unequip armor, I quickly go back up. Now we are receiving the exact same amount of damage we were when we were wearing the cloth armor. We're receiving six points of damage, which is exactly what we were receiving before. But when we put on just even another 50 points of armor, you're seeing five damage. Only one point reduction on five on 50 points. That's an additional 50 points armor. That's like putting on another set of cloth armor. That's like three sets of cloth armor. And if we put on another, we're down to four points. Again, only one damage reduction. Alright, guys, so now we are going to double what we already had. So, we're now in flak armor, full set of flak. One of these pieces right here is equivalent to an entire piece of cloth. We're going to go in first and we're going to take the damage, just like normal. Two points of damage. Now, yeah, you can definitely see we're receiving two points of damage, and otherwise we're not receiving damage at all. If we start slipping clothes off, you'll see even that has not increased the damage, nor has it reduced the damage from what it already was. So if we slip off another piece of armor, we just now, it took 150 points, or 200 points, to move from stage 3 to stage 2 in damage. Still not receiving any damage there. At this point now, we are double that of the armor, and look, we're back at four. And now we are back at cloth armor, so it is definitely not the armor placement, nor is it the armor in particular that is protecting you. It is the point value of your armor that protects you. Now, we already all knew that, but you can see an exponential curve going on here. And unfortunately, the exponential curve uh, does not work in your favor as you expand your armor. Yes, we are receiving damage. We are absorbing it very, very well. Uh, this guy out. Alright, so basically what you can see is that when we did this, we went from receiving 13 points down to 2. Now that seems pretty good and all the math adds up, but when you actually divide this up, the amount of armor and what it has done, it has not done that much. Uh, flak armor is almost, uh, your, your bang for your buck is like buying computer parts. The more performance you look for in a processor or something along those lines, what happens is you get much, much better results, but you pay a lot more for it. And that's kind of what happens here. Granted, oh. Chitin is actually probably, in my opinion, more expensive than Flak. You, you can see the results already. That Dillo went from 13 points to 2 damage, but just one piece of armor or one set of armor reduced your damage by 5 points, or no, 4 points. Then the next set, which doubled that armor, reduced it only by three. And then the next set after that, I think, only reduced it by two. Well, that set was a little uh, crazy there, because we went from six to three. So that, an entire set, because yes, an entire set of cloth armor scores 100 points. But an entire set of chitin armor Ooh. scores 250 points of standard chitin. That left us receiving only... Three damage from the Dillo. At least I believe it was three damage. And now I gotta test this. Oh my god, I'm crazy here. I feel like I'm going crazy. So we'll test it real quick just to make sure. But basically, you're looking at adding the amount of conversion you got from this to this, if you watch it in a curve, would slowly level out to where even armor with 500% protection is not going to protect you nearly as effectively for the cost as just regular flak or chitin. 
Now, am I, not, am I saying not to wear your best piece of armor out into battle? No, absolutely not. Wear that best piece of armor if you know you're going into battle and you could possibly die. That armor will protect you. You might say, well, what if I got hit with something a lot higher damage? Well, all you would see in that case is a much more quickly changing value. Uh, you would see basically it go from 100 to the first little bit taking it down to 75. The next piece would take it down to about 65. The next piece after that would take you down to about 50, 45. And then oh. flak would take you down to about 35 to 30. Oh wow, did it die really? Oh, it starved. Wow. Okay. Oh. All right. So that <laughs> that's funny. So basically, that's what you're looking at. And so, basically what I'm trying to get at is, your armor is good, but explaining to the level of detail of where you need to stop on putting on armor. Any armor is better than no armor. As we can see by putting on just cloth, we effectively reduce that Dillo's damage by four points. Just by putting on a full set of cloth. Putting on a set of hide armor reduce it by an additional three points and putting on a set of chitin while more, much more expensive the armor va and with a higher armor value we can suddenly see that we did not get nearly as much and then again with flak only reducing it by one point from three to one point uh, three to two by having 100 oh. points of armor so this is not to say again to not put on flak armor but you should almost not even put on your riot unless you're going to war nor should you put on your cloth if you're going to war oh. basically what you're looking for is your everyday clothing at this moment should not exceed probably standard flak and the reason that's said is because you're going to pay a lot of material to put on high dollar flak only for it to get destroyed and it's not Ooh. doing that much more than regular flak. Yes, you may survive an additional bite or two, but you're not going to see the effect for the cost that you're looking at. And that's what we're trying to get at here. So I hope you learned something for this video today. Uh, I just had the thought maybe everybody would like to see this, and so I wanted to go ahead and put this video oh. out there for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, but that's going to be it. You guys take care. Yeah.